And I wear these a lot when I paint. Uh, it makes me um, feel more complete. A lot of my resources uh, come from old advertisement. A lot of it comes from images from the 1950s. P for one particular reason, that sort of ob ob obscure, uh, acidy, technicolor was particularly appealing to me as far as paint is concerned. And I just, you know, the way everything is just airbrushed and oversimplified at that particular point in photography, I think is a really beautiful way to set up for me to start a painting. <laughs> I really love this drawing because you, you sort of get the sense that, you know, she's having a really great time, but then there's like this impending doom or whatever, you know. Um, you know, sometimes bad things happen to good people, like that kind of thing, you know, because the cord is broken. This actually was part of a show, and you know, about the sex lives of penguins. Well, that's not what the show was about, but that's what my part of the show was about, about how uh, penguins get burned by love. And um, so this is a beat up penguin. It's made out of paper mache, standing on a giant ice cube. Broken arm, broken leg, black eye. How valuable is art to people? And I would say, you know, 99% it's not that valuable, you know, to a lot of people. And unless you're at a certain point in your career internationally, I don't think artists ever really get what it really costs them to make the work. And it's amazing because you'll have someone who will really complain about the price of a $3,000 drawing when, you know, little do they realize that, like, your studio's in New York, you're paying, you know, $1,000 a month rent for a space that you don't even live in, you know, and materials and labor, and, you know, you spent, you know, 15 hours on the drawing. Well, you know, if that were in the free market world of, like, what you would get paid for it, then, you know, $3,000 is really not that much money. And you split half of that with your dealer. So it's really, you're getting $1,500. Uh, so it's really an interesting dilemma. And what's beautiful about buying a drawing or a painting or something like that from an artist is that, or a sculpture, is that you're buying a unique work. You know, that's something that just doesn't exist in the rest of the world.